Have you at any point pondered whether we're genuinely alone in the universe or if there's something else to our reality besides what we see? Imagine a scenario in which the James Webb Telescope at last proves that we live inside a black hole. Join us as we find out more about this earth-shattering news that will make you question all that you thought you had some awareness of the universe. So, what precisely are black holes? They're like something out of a bad dream. Sure, you could have seen them in science fiction movies, but in reality, they're significantly more alarming. They're not only, as indicated by researchers, completely black. Holes in space are, in reality, massive amounts of matter compressed into an unbelievably small region. Consider a star multiple times more massive than the sun, all packed into a circle the size of New York City. The gravitational pull is so extreme that nothing, not even light, can escape from it. Researchers have been fascinated by black holes for a long time, ever since they considered objects in space so gigantic and dense that they could trap light. The most popular ideas regarding black holes were predicted by Einstein's theory of general relativity. Essentially, when a huge star dies, it leaves behind a tiny, dense core. If this core's mass is more than three times that of the sun, gravity overpowers everything else, leading to the formation of a black hole. Recognizing black holes is no easy task since they emit no light. However, researchers have found ways to infer their presence by observing their effects on nearby matter. For instance, if a black hole passes through a cloud of interstellar matter, it'll pull that matter towards it in a process called accretion. Furthermore, when a normal star gets too close to a black hole, it can get destroyed, emitting X-rays as it does so. Black holes also have a significant effect on their environments. They can consume nearby stars, produce powerful gamma-ray explosions, and even influence the formation of new stars in some regions while slowing it down in others. But where do black holes come from? Picture this, stars, once radiant and blazing, meet their ultimate end in a spectacular explosion called a supernova. From the remnants of these fallen giants, black holes emerge. Most black holes are born from massive stars that have reached their cosmic retirement party in a supernova explosion. Smaller stars, when they die, become something called neutron stars, which are incredibly dense but not dense enough to trap light. However, if a star is more than three times the mass of our sun, it collapses under its own gravitational force, forming a black hole. As these massive stars collapse, something strange happens near their surfaces, time itself begins to play tricks. From the perspective of someone far away, time seems to slow down near the event horizon, the point of no return for anything falling into a black hole. It's as if the star's clock ticks at a different speed compared to our own. Sometimes, when two smaller black holes collide, they merge to form an even larger and more terrifying black hole. If a black hole interacts with a neutron star, they create a monstrous nightmare that defies comprehension. Researchers have been wrestling with the size of these cosmic phenomena for a long time. Black holes come in two sizes, enormous and small. There's an eerie mystery surrounding them that we can't quite unravel. But here's the twist, small is relative when it comes to black holes. Stellar mass black holes, the remnants of massive stars, can be as large as 10 to 20 times the size of the sun. There could be as many as 10 million to a billion of them in the Milky Way alone. That's a staggering number of black holes that could swallow anything in their path. But wait, there's more, supermassive black holes are on the opposite end of the spectrum. They're millions, if not billions, of times larger than the sun. They exist at the center of massive galaxies, including our own Milky Way. It's like a vast dead space pulling everything toward it. Renowned physicist Stephen Hawking spoke about black holes throughout his life. His lectures were always insightful, though some of his theories couldn't be confirmed due to a lack of relevant equipment. However, there's hope on the horizon. A single scientific instrument is changing all that, and we're not ready for it. It goes by the name of the James Webb Space Telescope, also known as JWST, and it's here to explore the depths of our universe. Let me tell you, the JWST is no ordinary telescope. It's an engineering marvel, a testament to human ambition. Sure, we've launched other space telescopes before, and they've been doing their jobs just fine. But this one is on a whole other level. The JWST makes the Hubble, which has faithfully served us for years, seem like a mere dot in the universe. And the price tag for this cosmic wonder? A staggering $1 billion. Yes, you heard that right. That's enough zeros to make your head spin. It took the combined efforts of NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency to bring this marvel to life, along with contributions from over 300 universities. But we must not forget the risks that come with such a monumental undertaking. I realize this isn't an endeavor for the faint of heart. The JWST is venturing into uncharted territory, pushing the boundaries of what we know and taking us to places we've only dreamed of. 
Following a successful launch, NASA recently announced that the telescope has enough fuel to last more than twice its base mission life expectancy of 10 years. Since its launch, the JWST has accomplished numerous incredible feats. It traveled over 1 million miles to reach its orbit around the Sun, where it will remain permanently. During its journey, the telescope successfully unfurled its massive five-layer sunshield and giant primary mirror, both of which had to be folded to fit onto the launch vehicle. Now, after NASA has calibrated and aligned the telescope, it's almost ready to go into full operation. One of the most exciting moments for the JWST came when NASA announced it had captured its first images of starlight. The first image taken by the telescope was of a star called HD 8446, resulting in a pattern of 18 scattered bright spots from the star's light captured by the 18 mirror segments on the primary mirror. NASA later released another, improved image of HD 8446, in which 18 unfocused copies of the star were united into a deliberate hexagonal pattern. Once the observatory successfully aligns the individual segments of the primary mirror, it will begin the image stacking process, bringing 18 images together into one clear view. Thanks to its advanced technology, the JWST will help researchers explore the early stages of the universe after the Big Bang. It will study what happened after the first stars formed, a period known as the Epoch of Reionization. This refers to when neutral hydrogen was reionized, or made to have an electric charge again, by radiation from these first stars. This involves looking back billions of years, which is only possible with a powerful telescope like the JWST. The telescope will also help researchers find exoplanets, which are difficult to detect due to the way they interact with their host stars. Its powerful sensors will even be able to observe these planets in more detail, sometimes imaging their atmospheres. Understanding the atmospheres and conditions of planets could help researchers predict whether certain planets are habitable or not. Beyond studying galaxy formation, researchers also study galaxies to see how matter is organized on a large scale. This, in turn, allows us to see how the universe evolved. The spiral and elliptical galaxies we see today developed from different shapes over billions of years. One of the JWST's goals is to look back at the earliest galaxies to better understand that evolution. Researchers are also trying to figure out how we got the variety of galaxies we see today and how they continue to form and merge. But most importantly, the James Webb Space Telescope will help us answer the most significant questions of all, are we alone in the universe, and are we living inside a black hole? The JWST has already been on the hunt, and guess what it found? Compounds called polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, PAHs, lurking around those supermassive black holes in three active galaxies. These carbon-based molecules with ring-like structures are like the goths of the universe. They're everywhere, from distant galaxies to comets in our solar system. Now, they're not just fascinating because they could form the building blocks of life, but also because they help astronomers track star formation. When ultraviolet radiation hits these PAHs, they light up and emit infrared light, a sight that can be detected by the JWST's mid-infrared instrument, also known as MIRI. That's usually a sign that there are some hot young stars nearby. But wait for the plot twist, an intrepid astrophysicist, Ismael Garcia Bernard from Oxford University, decided to take a closer look at three active galaxies known as NGC 6502, NGC 731, the eerily famous Stefan's Quintet, and NGC 749. These galaxies are millions of light years away, deep in the darkness. What Garcia Bernard found will make your hair stand on end. In those central regions where the black holes reign, he found an abundance of PAHs. Sounds good, right? Well, here's where it gets creepy, the radiation near those supermassive black holes distorted the pa's very substance, turning them into larger, electrically neutral versions of themselves. The smaller, electrically charged PAHs evaporated into oblivion. Imagine being swallowed by the darkness itself. But wait, there's a glimmer of hope, the larger PAHs managed to survive because they found shelter inside thin, dense, gas-filled clouds. It's like they found their own protective cloak against the horrors of the black hole's wrath. Now, you might ask why this dark twist matters. Well, you see, it's kind of a problem for astronomers. Usually, PAHs serve as cosmic road signs, pointing toward areas where new stars are being born. But in this case, their transformation near black holes messes up that story.